What's up guys, in this video we're going to test, tear down, and review the Dakota Lithium 23 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Here we go. So let's hop on the computer real quick and look at the capacity test. And as you can see right here, we got 25.45 amp hours. Great, passes capacity test. 23 amp hour battery tested for over 25 amp hours. Uh, let's look at that helix factor I like to uh, point out in every about every video now. And that is 10.8 volts. So just like with any other lithium iron phosphate battery, that point is towards the end of the discharge curve. So we are all good there. So let's look at the Amazon listing here. And looks like this battery lists for $228.99. Now that's just under $10 an amp hour, which is pretty expensive nowadays for for these lithium batteries so i'm going to be pretty critical when tearing down this battery especially at this price point so let's talk about the warranty and i haven't done this in the other videos so dakota lithium has an 11 year warranty on their batteries now that 11 year warranty uh is for manufacturer defects not if you drop this in the water or wired up wrong or you know whatever that's if they messed up building the battery they'll warranty it for 11 years so let's talk about their bms real quick it says right here on the amazon listing all of our batteries contain a battery management system bms that battery that bms handles cell balancing low voltage cutoff high voltage cutoff short circuit protection and high temperature protection for increased performance and battery life so we're going to test a few of those things right there guys so i'd say we uh Hop over there on the workbench, crack this guy open, see what's inside. Here we go. All right, let's do a quick size comparison. So this is the Amped Outdoors 30 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. As you can see, just about same same size as the Dakota. Dakota might have these these screws right here a little bit a little bit taller uh, than the Amped. The Dakota. I must have a little bit older battery too because these are, are now bolts. Um, I noticed that on the Amazon listing. So I must have must have got a battery right before they changed it out to bolts. But they, it looks about the same, the same height. And in case you're wondering, yes, this will fit into like a deluxe DIY power box. You'll have to put it underneath the handle like this it will flex just a little bit right here but it will fit um, if you are unfamiliar with the power boxes I'm talking about I have a video and I sell these these power boxes matter of fact while we're talking about power boxes this is I'm the guy that designed the Dakota lithium power box this is actually the very first one um, it doesn't even say Dakota lithium it says ihpoutdoors.com but I built this about i don't know five or six years ago and sold them the design so seeing the dakota lithium power box i'm the guy that designed it for him back to the battery let's get this guy weighed up this battery weighs six pounds 11.9 ounces let's do our short circuit test we'll verify we have some voltage on this battery 13.69 volts so let's do our short circuit protection test and we're basically just testing the BMS here, make sure we do have short circuit protection. Uh, I've come across a bunch of these batteries where they say they do, and then they don't. I don't think I, I've had this issue with the, any Dakotas. So this is an amp meter, so we're gonna intentionally short this out. I don't suggest you guys do this. Whoa, what the hell? thing like buzzed you gotta be shitting me well we gotta try that one more time this thing should have short circuit protection and it just doesn't seem like it really does i'm gonna try to hold it on there nope it does not that you gotta be kidding me. I can, it smells really hot. Damn it. 
you know, this really kind of just pisses me off. So a lot of people think, oh, I'm just trying to talk bad about different battery companies. And that's not the case at all. You see, when I find a good battery, I actually make a little bit of money because I can recommend that. You guys go to Amazon, buy it based off my recommend recommendations. And then I make, you know, one to three percent or whatever it is. I'm not entirely sure. But I make a couple bucks or a few cents on each each sale when you follow my link. So I personally would love to just recommend every battery I come across, but obviously that has not been the case. So this one just ruined it for me. Um very disappointed. Uh let's since I have this amped battery right here, why don't we just test this one real quick 13.47 volts all right so let me show you what it's supposed to do uh, the BMS inside these batteries are supposed to turn it off when you short circuit it nothing it did throw a pretty big spark, but nothing. So I just went back and replayed the, the video real quick. Looks like 133 amps uh, when I shorted this out. It made a weird buzzing noise. Never heard that. Man, I'm so disappointed. I thought this was going to be just a really, really great battery. And let me down again, Dakota Lithium. Let me down again. Let's, uh... Let's open it up. Let's void the warranty. Let's void that 11 year warranty. See what's going on inside. Here we go. Hey, if you want to see a list of batteries that I do recommend that does have short circuit protection, I'll leave a link down in the description of this video on my website where I have all the Amazon links to, and all the batteries I've, I've reviewed. All right, let's open it up. Here we go, first look, Dakota Lithium 23 amp hour. Oh, more caulk. <laughs> I'm really curious about what's going on with this BMS. How come the short circuit protection's not kicking off? So what I'm gonna do is kind of a different test I haven't done before. I'm gonna cut these wires here. short them together see what happens by the way these are 12 awg wires internally so that's that's great all right matt try to leave it on there just to prove it doesn't work yeah the short circuit protection in this battery does not work. It melted my alligator clip. Hey guys, so I'm editing this video and one thing I forgot to talk about when I was doing the short circuit protection test and when that failed is really that is how fires get started. So if you have this battery, get a fuse on it before you use it any, anymore uh, with your fish finders or your low amp draw trolling motors, whatever. Get that thing fused. Uh, this is how fires start. Um, this is how kayak fires start, boat fires. You just, there's a lot of potential there for fire. Please fuse this Dakota Lithium 23 amp hour if you have it. Also, if you do have this battery, let me know down in the comments. Here we go, back to the show. So disappointed. I better tape these up. Ah. Now, a guy could argue, well, you don't really need the short circuit protection because all you need is a fuse. And yeah, a fuse would protect. You should always have a fuse on every battery, no matter if it has a short circuit protection or not. What really kind of pisses me off is when a battery company advertises that they have this protection, which in my mind is like the most important protection in a BMS, most important function 
when they advertise that they have it and they don't have it that's just instant failure to me and and really i'm not even gonna tear the rest of this thing apart i'm just gonna say i do not recommend this battery um now one might argue well maybe you just got a faulty battery maybe your bms in this battery was was just faulty and um but but here's the deal with that guys I seem to get a lot of faulty batteries. Um, it's just, it just doesn't work. Uh, so maybe, maybe this company can get that fixed or sees this video and so oh, well, maybe we should start testing that. But uh, yeah, so far I've done four Dakota lithium batteries. And I've thus far only been able to recommend one. That's the Dakota lithium 10 amp hour. Uh, I'll leave a link to that video up here, but yeah, so far that's that's been it. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna tear this apart anymore. I'm not gonna waste any more time with it. Disappointed, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you click on this next video here, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Hey, if you have any recommendations for batteries you'd like me to tear down, let me know it down in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.